Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be making a video on how to make a key system for the Orion library since as of right now they don't have a, a dedicated system for it. <clears throat> so I'm going to teach you how to uh, make a key system for the uh, for the library. So let's just get straight started. So if you watched my last video, which I highly recommend, uh, you will know that oh, we need to uh, first go ahead and uh, grab the uh, Orion library boot handle or just you know we have to reference it uh i suggest you watch my last video because you know it kind of helps you with the basics uh and on uh, the Orion library and we're gonna be doing so i'm just gonna kind of speed through all this stuff so uh i'll leave the docs and whatever in the description and i'll also uh i'm not gonna leave the source code of the subscription unless it's behind some sort of paywall which sounds kind of douchey, but I kind of want you guys to learn instead of just copying my entire script. So, yeah. All right, so let's get started. So now that we've referenced the Orion lib, we're going to go ahead and make a window. So, you know, just copy it. All right. Uh, we're going to call the first window, which we're going to make a key system. And... We're gonna get rid of the config folder because we're not gonna have one for the key system. Uh, actually, if you wanted to, you can make it so it, if you enter the right key, it will flag a certain flag that will, whenever you launch it, you won't have to go through the key system for like a week. You could implement that. I might make a part two if you guys really want it, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. So, yeah. All right. So now that you've uh, made this local window or whatever. We're, we're going to do the intro text equal to uh, uh, key system. If you don't want an intro, which actually I don't think we're going to do an intro. If you don't want an intro, all you do is intro enabled equals false. Uh, now I'll get rid of the intro. So if we uh, go ahead and just execute it, we got to connect our client first. You'll see that it'll just do it without an intro, which is kind of what we want. So yeah, we get rid of that now. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and make our tab. So we're just going to copy this. And there's our tab. Call it key. Key tab. And just call it t key. Uh, and for the sake of this video, I'm not going to put an icon, but you can put an icon if you like. It's just going to have the basic one. And uh, yeah. Go ahead and create a notification. Go ahead and create one. Uh, we'll just create it whenever. It, uh, yeah, whenever it does this. <clears throat> All right. So now that we put our notification down, we can make the the name as logged in exclamation point. And the content will be like, uh, you are logged in as, and then you can put a space. And we're actually gonna put the player's name right here. Which if you don't know how to do that, we have to first reference the local player. So we'll make a variable game dot players dot local player. There we go. And then we'll do you are logged in as uh, dot dot player dot name dot dot space and put a new string and hit space. Yeah. Actually no, we'll just do this. You are logged in as there we go. Uh, we need a, a string actually. Yeah. And you'll say you are logged in as leader squad 456. And we can actually get rid of this space here. And then I'll just be a little neater. Uh, actually, we'll just put a, a period. There we go. You are logged in as leader squad 456. Boom. Just looks a little nice, I think. So now that we have our key tab, we have to make a. Uh, We'll go ahead and make two things. The first thing we're going to make is an adaptive input, which is like a text box. I just call it that for some reason. So we're going to put it after the tab. And this adaptive input is going to be, uh, the name is going to be enter key. And we're just going to put enter key. And this should go ahead and you'll see enter key. And if you want to get rid of this, we'll put 
input. Ah, just keep it as input because it just looks nice. So we can just get rid of this. Uh, text disappear. I don't know. I think that's just. I don't know what that does. I think it just disappears. The input text maybe. I don't know. All right, let's make our values. Underscore g dot uh, key equals. And this is where we're gonna put our key. So I think our key is just gonna be hello. And then we'll make one for underscore g dot. And eh, we'll, we'll just make that one. I think we're gonna have to make another one along the way, but you know we'll just save it for now. All right. So we're gonna make. Uh, let's see here. All right. So now I thought about it. What we're gonna do actually is make underscore g dot key input equals a string. And then we're gonna have uh, the callback for this one have uh, underscore g dot key input equals uh, value. And uh, if we go ahead and do print key key input, you will see here that if we hit F9, if we put in this and and hit. Uh, We put in here and just hit enter. It will put our input, I think. Okay, maybe not. Whatever, we'll just keep it like this. <laughs> um, so what this is doing is whatever we put in here, uh, whatever you put in this text box, will change the value of the key input to whatever. So if we put high in the text box, it will change the value of the key input to high. And now what we have to do is check if uh, the key input equals the key. And if it does, then it will execute another function. So to do that, we can do this by adding a button. So if we put in a button, I don't know why I said that so fruity. <laughs> uh, it's too late for this shit. All right, whatever. We'll just put a tab add button and uh, the button name will be check key or that exclamation point too happy. And uh, the callback will be if underscore g dot key input equals equals underscore g dot key, then and then whatever, we'll just put whatever we want into here. So in this case, we're just gonna make a new function right here, and we're gonna call function make make script hub. All right, and then we'll do make script hub. All right, so there you go. Everything should look good now. And then what we're gonna do is have uh, make script hub, just have it print entered correct key, All right? Execute this again. And if we put this, blah, so you know what happens. But if we put, uh, hello, I think that's our key yeah it check key it should print entered correct key so there's our key system let's make it do something now all right so you're gonna put your script hub in this function that's why i recommend personally doing it uh i recommend personally uh making your script up first and then making a key system or if you want you can make the key system first it's really up to you but in this case, we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, we're going to do this. So what we're also going to do here is make another function called correct key not notification. And this one is just going to give us a notification whenever we enter the correct key. So we just grab this notification and paste it there. And we're going to call it correct key and then we'll change this to you have entered the correct key all right then we're gonna have uh this function also execute along with that so if we go ahead and this we go ahead and put hello you have entered the current key, and if we spam it, uh, actually, wait, we have to make one for 
uh, not having the correct key. So what we can do here is actually copy the script, paste it, and then have it and um, change this to incorrect key. And then we'll change this to incor uh, incorrect key. You have entered the incorrect key. And what we'll do actually is we will uh, add an else statement. And this else statement will execute incorrect key notification. I, mean, I think we need an end. Nope, we do not. All right. And then if we do this, incorrect key, if we put in hello, correct key. There you go. That's, we got our notification. Okay. Okay, let's explain what it does. So, first things first, I already explained the text box. Let's explain what the button does. The button checks, this is what the if statement does. It checks if the input that you put in the text box, because we made the input uh, equal value. So, whatever you put in the text box is going to equal this. So, we checked if the global equals uh, the key. So, this one doesn't change at all. This is just the key. Then we'll execute these two functions. One is for the script hub, one is for the notification. And then if else means if it doesn't equal any of that, then it will uh, print the incorrect key function. So that's what that means. Uh, to make it work. By making it work, I mean, let's make a window. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to do the local window. I don't know if there's any way to hide the old windows. So you're just gonna have the two windows open, but if you want, you can make a ticket in the Orion uh, Discord. Uh, we're gonna have the name of this equal to uh, script hub. Intro enabled equals true. And then we're gonna do intro text equals script hub. And execute this. There it is. We do this. Nothing happens. If we type in hello, there you go. Script up. And uh, there's our there's the script up. If you're pretty sure if you spam it, it'll open multiple. And I don't know if there's a way around that. Um, but uh, unless you maybe you could break it. I think we can uh, do Orion, Orion lib. You you could probably like unload it or something if you really wanted to. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. That's how you make key system, peace.